As you know, the U.S. right now could be just three weeks away from defaulting on its debt. That could mean millions of jobs lost, people not getting their Social Security payments. People believe it would put the U.S. economy into a recession. Um, on that topic, I want to bring in Marta Cervea, a student here at St. Anselm. She is an undeclared voter who did not vote in 2020. Marta, what's your question? Hi, Mr. President. Hi, thank uh, you. So my question is, what do you think about the United States' current debt situation, and how can we move forward? Uh, such an important question. So we're at $33 trillion, a number that nobody ever thought possible. When we had our economy rocking and rolling just prior to COVID coming in, like literally, we were making a fortune. And oil, we were going to make so much money from oil, we were going to start paying off debt. But then with COVID coming in, we had to do other things. We had to keep this country alive because it was so serious. But we have to get the country back. We have to lower energy prices. We have to lower interest rates. Interest rates are through the roof. Energy has to come down. It all has to come down, and we have to start paying off debt. But when we have a debt limit, and they use that very seriously to me, they came in, Schumer came in with Nancy Pelosi, and they were using it, we'll violate it, we'll do whatever. They talked a whole lot different than they do right now. I say to the Republicans out there, congressmen, senators, if they don't give you massive cuts, you're going to have to do a default. And I don't believe they're going to do a default because I think the Democrats will absolutely cave because you don't want to have that happen. But it's better than what we're doing right now because we're spending money like drunken sailors. So you just to be expression. clear, Mr. President, you think the U.S. should default if the White House does not agree to the spending cuts Republicans well, are demanding? You might as well do it now because you'll do it later because we have to save this country. Our country is dying. Our country is being destroyed by stupid people, by very stupid people. You once said that using the that using the debt ceiling as a negotiating wedge uh, just could not happen. You you said that sure, when you were in the Oval Office. That's when I was president. To, so why is it different now that you're out of office? Because now I'm not president. <laughs> the U.S. defaulting would be massively consequential well, you don't know. for it's, everyone it's, in this room, for all of you Americans. You don't know. It's psychological. It's really psychological more than anything else. And it could be very bad. It could be maybe nothing. Maybe it's a, you have a bad week or a bad day. But look, you have to cut your costs. We're, we're spending $7 trillion on, much of it on nonsense. $7 trillion on nonsense. We've got another question said, for a voter tonight. Get all of that money that was wasted, and frankly, the Senate should have never approved it. Get all that money that was wasted, and if they don't get rid of that, you'll have to default. Okay? Mr. You President, we've got another voter here tonight. And by the way, you're going to default eventually anyway, but it's going to be much messier. I don't think you'll have to default. I think if the Republicans hold strong and they say, we want five, let's say we want five trillion dollars off, I really think the Democrats have no choice but to do it. And if I win, they're going to be doing the same thing to me in two years. I guarantee you that.